Hello everyone. Just wanted to do a quick uh, flip through of the setup that I have with this planner here. I did move it back into my Malden and I'm still using the same inserts which are the compact size like Franklin Co Co Covey size. But um, just wanted to show you they do fit in there. Uh, there's a couple of pages I cut a little longer but otherwise they fit in there. They do come all the way to the edge, but that doesn't bother me at all. That I just have a couple of, um, what do you call it, bookmarkers in there. But, uh, yes, that's the way I have it set up. Here on the cover, I don't have anything in there. I just have my grocery list, which I need to do that one day. And then a uh, gift card right there that I use to cut washi. Pretty much that's what I use that for. The next thing is, uh, this here came from a notebook that I had, and I just, uh, cut it out right there and put, slipped it in right here, hole punched it, and, uh, some of the paper in here is that as well. This here was in that notebook, it was in the front, just a, a little pocket that was there, and I put that there in the front just to hold stuff sometimes. This is a envelope. A receipt envelope as they call it which is handy and it's pretty much for a template I don't know if I'll use it but I figured if it fits in there go ahead and put it in there this also came with the Franklin Covey it's just a shaded uh, day runner bookmarker there and then that is my 2017 budget right there and then this was a printable that I had right there uh, and I was going to use it but I decided not to and uh, there's the difference in the two page sizes as you can see that yeah right there and it's about half an inch difference that's why I went ahead and decided to stick with those longer pages let me see if I can flip it there's the so much craft and inserts you can clearly see that there's a difference in the size. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yes, there's the page size. And I do like the extra piece there that I do get with this paper. And this is just a bunch of the paper that was in a couple of notebooks that I went ahead and put the paper in here. Which is quite a bit of it. This is also another narrow, like the... What do you call it? The college ruled paper. And then here is the So Much Crafting insert. Well, not the insert, but the yearly calendar for 2017. This is a printable that she provides on her website. If you go there, you can get this printable as well as the holiday 2017 printable, which I went ahead and did both. I wanted to try to maybe try to resize this a little bigger so I can actually use it because it is rather small to use for this planner and I do have a second one that's for the pocket size I believe this is a printable that I tried to use right here it did not work it was, I, I didn't like the layout of it but it is shorter on all around and I did not like that actually I probably should have left it a little longer here for the month and that information. It also came with this printable which is the September 2015. It's quite old but if it worked I'll, I could always cover all of that but it did not work for me and I need to take that out one day. And This was the first spread that I used in August 7th through the 13th and it worked really well. That's where that idea came from from this one and it worked good but um that was the week and then the grocery list a couple of notes this is this week I think we're on Sunday now but this worked well uh, this was a printable that I created on a uh, Word Excel I think Excel not Word but Microsoft Excel and I did not save it so I'm not able to use it a second time it did have a couple of issues there and I wish it would have came down lower but I went ahead and contacted 
several Etsy stores and see if they could uh, do me a printable and none of them could but I finally found one that would and she created this one for me very similar to the So Much Crafting which as well I contacted So Much Crafting to get this size and they're not taking um, customs right now so I contacted this lady which I'll leave her uh, information below her name is Samantha really sweet girl that helped me with this and this is the last week we're on the 20th here and uh, I went ahead and was able to put the dates but I'm kinda liking the ability to put just write it in and add a little color to it which wasn't bad eh, there but I realized when I printed a few of them this morning a few extras my ink is running out as you can see uh, I got a they are pink they're no longer the black color these did come out black but I, at least I have a few I think I have like four or five weeks in here it gives me enough time to try to get the ink before I'll have to get it again and then I had some grid paper that I cut down and was going to create these on my own but these are much nicer than this but I'll still use this I'll probably use it for a grocery list or maybe planning this way instead of this way on these this is another one that I tried to print and I was going to use this but it just doesn't work for me I'm, like I say I may still use that I'll find some use for it and this is just some paper that I, I cut down this was another little book here that I went ahead and cut some pages out and put in here yeah, if you remember this I used this little notebook a lot and I just cut some more of them pages out and put them in here and then I have a couple of pages this was a piece of mail that we received that uh, had cute little pieces there and I went ahead and cut them out and put them in here scratch paper or something this is a piece of that grid from right here that I just kept the little piece like I said sometimes I need to write down a number or something real quick and this right here is the one page that a friend gave me of the correct size that's supposed to be in the follow not the follow facts the Franklin Covey compact and that is the correct size which I actually did really well on the sizing I'm shocked with that and then this is just a follow facts uh, top load little um, paper in there and then this is some paper that I had found really pretty but it doesn't go all the way to the edge but uh, there's a few pages of those in there this came with the old planner the uh, Franklin Covey then I have my two stencils right there that sometimes I use them not always but they're there if I need them and then there's the back cover of the binder right there and then all these I'm not currently using them but all of these came with the planner as well and this one as well so I just kept them in there and there's nothing in there nor there and I don't use the pen loop hardly ever so that is it and that's how I have it set up um, it'll get fatter and chunkier as time goes but for now that's the the way it is right now there's the top view and I'm thinking of getting dividers but I'm going to have to use them up here because this is to the max I believe it there's no more room there for anything so I'll get a few possibly I, I do just like these um, bookmarkers because they do come out at the bottom right there and that's fine because most of the time I flip from the bottom instead of pulling from the top but anyway if y'all know any good um, places that will do the top tab dividers link uh, put uh, send me a message put it down below or something and I'll look into it because I would like to have three or four right here at the top maybe even if they're clear that's even better because I really don't like to cover the page with them you know because I want to be able to flip to it and it's there like that you know instead of it covering the whole page anyways thank y'all for watching hopefully y'all have a wonderful day and i will talk to y'all later bye